The holidays are screaming toward us, and if you're like me, you're probably already getting ready for some shows. And so I wanted to show a couple of quick projects, more fun with water jets. Uh, so a couple things that I'm working on that I think will be good sellers at my shows. So I had some cobalt blue, Bullseye 114, cobalt blue glass. And I also had this um, uh, winter collage glass. So it's white and it's got some clear streamers and some, um, excuse me, it's clear with clear streamers and some white confetti in here. And so I thought that that would look cool on the cobalt. Although in my past experience, this white confetti that's in here tends to um, kind of blow out a little bit in a full fuse. And so um, that is exactly what happened, but I had planned for that. So in my blanks here, I just made some five by five squares and I have, um, I took the cobalt blue, I capped it with this, winter collage glass then i added some and a coarse opalescent frit and so you see those dots throughout here and then in the past you've seen me feature uh, tabitha's um, touch of dichroic stringer and so i used some touch of dichroic stringer in there and i don't know if you can see that but there's some really nice little dichro sparkle that kind of happens it's generally clear streamer but um fused in there quite nicely with a um, little bit of sparkle, which is really cool. So that becomes the base piece that I intend to use with some water jet cuts. And so you know that I love my water jets. I have these that are snowflakes that came from uh, SNS Glass Art on Etsy. They sell them as a three pack of all, all uh, three designs. So one, two, three, and a three pack. And um, the cost of these is, is inexpensive. I mean, you might have to pay for shipping or, or taxes, but $5, or excuse me, $15 for a set of three. So you've got five bucks each. So for five, I'm only gonna use one on each piece here. So for $5, I add this really cool embellishment that then I'm gonna fire in and uh, uh, at 1400 to get a nice uh, fuse on that and just put it in the corner. And then I'll slump this into a little um, dish mold. And I think that that's really cool. So. I've had, I have, you know, variety of this glass. Some of this is really kind of considered scrap for me in my studio because I had just a little bit here and a little bit there. Um, put this together, you know, add a $5 embellishment and I think I can sell it for 20 or 25 at my uh, shows. So I think that's a great value and something fun to play with. So I'm making those. I also have, uh, I had just some, you know, peacock glass, which I think this color is beautiful. And I think it can be almost like a holiday color. Move this stuff out of the way if you want it to be. Uh, and so same thing, I could use some of these water jets, or in this case, I have some gorgeous ones from the Glass Underground. So Meryl and her team at the Glass Underground do these very intricate uh, snowflakes, uh, some more of that larger size, and then these smaller guys as well. Um, same thing, it's not, it's not a lot of money for, um, you know, what can be a really cool embellishment. Let's see if I can find one that's kind of loose. This one's probably easier to get out. So same thing, fire that in kind of the corner of a little dish like that. And sorry for the glare, there's a lot of glare here. Um, but I think just, so I fired my blank. It was, you know, three millimeters of Tecta uh, and three millimeters of Peacock. And, um, you know, can add that embellishment on there on a light uh, contour fuse and uh, have a nice little dish that then I slump and it's a good seller for the holidays. So, uh, you know, very affordable way to approach that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to get all my glass cleaned up. I'm gonna add some snowflakes to these. I'm gonna fire them and then I'll show you what they look like. And here we are, perfect little fuses on these guys. I think that they're a lot of fun. These white ones again were from SS Glass Art and uh, I like I like all three. I wanted to try all three just to see what they look like. I like them. I don't know that I'll sell this as a set. I'll probably sell these individually, uh, but I like them. And then uh, these are the two that I used from uh, the Glass Underground. And I believe these were translucent white. If I don't, she has a variety of colors available. I think that these were um, translucent white, uh, but I think they're awesome. So now all of these uh, will be slumped in some molds and I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. All right, here they are, my little blue dishes with the dichroic sparkle. I just slumped these in a little square slumper and um, <clears throat> I think they look great. I'm I'm real pleased with them. I think I like the texture that you get with, I only for, fire, uh, fired these on at 1400 
and uh, it keeps the definition but gives you some really nice uh, texture on there. Here's one of the ones on Peacock. I haven't slumped the other one, but there you go. Super easy, little square slumpers. I mean, this is not a lot of glass. Um, this one I think is about six by six. These are five by five. You know, I just cut them, you know, kind of whatever I have. I'll measure it out and say, oh, I can get three of these, you know, five by fives out of this. So not a lot of glass. Even this dichroic stringer, a little bit goes a long way. You know, a little $5 embellishment and uh, or less. Um, and I'll sell these for 20 or $25 a piece at the show, and I think they'll do really well. So hope you liked this idea. Uh, check in the video notes for the links that um, to the, to the um, suppliers where I get my embellishments. I use COE90, um, and then uh, firing schedules are always in there as well. Thank you very much. Subscribe for more. I've got more coming. Bye-bye.